raise your hand if you have been baptized. Raise your hand if you're excited to be baptized. Raise your hand if you want to know more about being baptized. Perfect! That is what we are talking about today. Baptism. What is baptism? And why do we need it? Huh, that's a really good question. Do you have the answer? Oh, that's so great! There are amazing things that come with being baptized. But first, let's talk a little bit about baptism in the Book of Mormon. Are you ready? Open up your eyes, open up your ears. Let's watch. Alma at the Waters of Mormon, Becoming God's People. Alma used to be a priest for a king named Noah. Alma tried to save Abinadi, a prophet of God, from being killed by Noah. But Noah got angry with Alma and wanted to kill Alma too. Alma ran away from Noah to stay safe. During the day, Alma hid near a place called the Waters of Mormon. Alma believed what Abinadi taught about Jesus Christ. He asked God to forgive him of his sins and mistakes. Alma met with people in private and taught them about Jesus. He taught everyone who would listen. Many people believed Alma. They went to the Waters of Mormon to hear Alma teach. The believers wanted to be called God's people, help others in need, and tell people about God. So Alma invited them to be baptized. By being baptized, they would make a covenant or promise with God to serve him and keep his commandments. In return, God would bless them with his spirit. The people were very happy. They clapped their hands and said they wanted to be baptized. Alma baptized each of them in the waters of Mormon. They were all filled with the Spirit of God and felt God's love for them. They became members of the Church of Christ. Noah saw that some of his people were leaving his land. He sent servants to watch them. The servants saw the people go to the land of Mormon to hear Alma's teachings. Noah was very angry. He sent his army to kill Alma and the people. God warned Alma about the army. With God's help, Alma and his people safely left the land. The army could not catch them. They walked for eight days in the wilderness and came to a beautiful land. They made new homes there. Alma taught the people and they kept their promise to God. So picking up where we left off last week, Alma was one of King Noah's priests. And he said, I really feel something of what Abinadi said. And he knew he had to do something about it. And he got away. That was miracle number one. And then you saw what happened. People started coming to him as he was teaching the same thing that Abinadi was teaching. And people wanted to be baptized. Isn't that amazing? <sighs> Is there a reason why you wanted to be baptized? That is a great reason. I know why I wanted to be baptized. And that was to follow my Savior Jesus Christ. Because he chose to be baptized and he didn't have to. But he wanted to be obedient to our Heavenly Father's plan so that we would know what to do to better follow him. We make some promises or covenants when we are baptized. And that is another thing that we are going to find right in here. 
So did you bring this awesome book today? The Book of Mormon. Did you bring it? Good. Are you ready? Open up your scriptures. Let's read. Mosiah chapter 18 verses 9 and 10. Yea, and are willing to mourn with those that mourn. Yea, and comfort those that stand in need of comfort. And to stand as a witness of God at all times, and in all things, and in all places, that ye may be in, even until death, that ye may be redeemed of God, and be numbered with those of the first resurrection, that ye may have eternal life. Now I say unto you, if this be the desire of your hearts, what have you against being baptized in the name of the Lord? As a witness before him, that ye have entered into a covenant with him, that ye will serve him and keep his commandments, and that he may pour out his spirit more abundantly upon you. That was a lot of information, but it is so good. So let's either review if we've been baptized or talk about the promises we make when we are baptized. Number one, we promise to take his name upon us. Something that is really amazing is that we get to be like Jesus Christ. We take his name on us. That means we choose to be like him, to act like he, he is, to speak like him, and to treat others the way he would treat them. So take his name upon you. Can you do that? Of course you can. The next promise we make is to help others, to make their burdens light. Can you help and serve other people when they're having a hard time? A thousand percent! Yes, you can! The third thing we promise is to always share our testimony of Him. No matter where we are, no matter who we're with, we promise to share the love of God, the things we know. We promise to share Jesus Christ. You are his witness. Can you do that? Yes. Yes, you can. Some days it might be a little hard. Some days we might forget. But that's what is so beautiful about being on the earth. We have the chance to try again. And what is even more beautiful is that our baptism isn't something that is just a one-time thing that we're washed clean once and it's done. And if we mess up, that's it. No, we were given the sacrament every week the opportunity to take the bread and the water. Have you ever listened to the words of the sacrament prayer? We promise to always remember him, to keep his commandments, and to do what he would have us do, that we would get to have his spirit with us. That's what we get in return. We keep our promises, and the promise in return is that he will have his spirit with us. That is a huge promise because then we know what to do. We are inspired as we follow the, the feelings and the ideas that we get from the Holy Ghost. And those will always be good things. So what about that? How does that make you feel? We have all the tools we need to keep our promises. So can you do it? If you've been baptized, can you do it? If you're excited to be baptized, can you do it? I say yes. Yes, of course. Because when we are trying to follow Jesus Christ, when you are trying to follow Jesus Christ, you will always have the strength to do so. I feel so good right now. You know what that means. La 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 la. Let's sing.
I love the gospel of Jesus Christ, and I love that the first step in following him, as we are accountable for our choices and our actions, that we learn in the scriptures is to be baptized and to receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. That's the beginning. That's the first step. That's opening the door to that covenant path that President Nelson talks about so much. So can you do it? And if you've already been baptized, can you keep your promises? Yes. Yes, you can. I know Jesus Christ lives and I love his example. I love that he chose to be baptized so I would know what to do so that I can return to Heavenly Father. And you can know what to do so you can return to Heavenly Father. That is the best. He lives and he loves you. This book is real. It is the word of God. And as we keep studying it, we will know exactly how to follow Jesus Christ and to keep our promises. I love it. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen.